Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I stole Lisa J for another video and I'm so excited because we have a really fun video planned for today. We do, 10 products that we cannot live without. I can't wait. I have not, I'm trying not to peek at her products. They're right over here and I'm trying like to hide my products. So let's get into it. Let's share the 10 products we can't live without. Let's do it. Okay, so these are in no particular order. And personally, this was a really hard uh, list to, to come up with but these are like solid choices for me. I can't wait to see yours. What, what do you got for me? You want me to start I, it off? Yeah, I picked products that I, I truly use every day. Either I, I use them every day or I've used them for a very long time. That, okay. that was my criteria because it was tough to pick 10. What's the oldest product that you have in your bunch? Are we like, gonna start you, there? I just, I'm okay. curious, maybe, yeah. Okay. Let's yeah, start let's with do the, it. the okay. longest standing product that you've used for the longest period of time. Okay, I've used this product for literally decades, the Dior Show Maximizer Lash Primer. Wow. This is my favorite lash primer by far. It just makes the mascara look even just, if you have a good mascara, it takes it up a notch. Wow. Um, and it has ingredients to like help condition your lashes and improve the health of your lashes. Okay, you, so I use you've this. sold me on this so many times. I can't tell you how many of these I've bought. I remember my hairstylist telling me about this probably 12 years ago and I have used it ever since. Seriously? This is a product I always stock up on during the Sephora sale and any yeah. chance I get, I always stock up on Why this. Why don't you text me and tell me, and tell me to buy this? I just told you. I know. And I met when I was in Austin filming with Lisa a couple of months ago and I saw her use this and I, I saw it on your counter too. And I, I made a mental note and clearly I forgot to buy it. I still, I need to just go out and get it. It's good. You need it. Well, okay. Yeah. Speaking of like that type of product, I have a brow gel that I've used for a good 10 years, probably minimum. I'd say, no, it's probably like 10 years. It, so this is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I have tried every single brow freeze, brow um, gel on the market. I always go back to this one. I feel and like, this is like a pro kit staple for me. I feel like Benefit kind of owns the brow market. They know? do. I mean, there's a ton of people that rival them for sure. But I feel like with this formula in particular, I can I never go wrong with this one. I always get my brows and my client's brows especially. I use this primarily, I will say, in my makeup kit. And it's one of those products that I have to have stocked. Always. Does it have a tint to it or is it clear? No, it's totally clear. The wand is really nice too. It has like a flat part to it. So you can really like, you could push the product into the brows, but you can also like push it down, like lay it down and just kind of like flatten them if you're going for like that kind of look. But you know who actually used this in an alternative way that really opened my eyes to like a whole new world of this product is Painted by Spencer used this as a lash primer to keep the curl in his lashes. Nice. Can I, like, I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. Let me see. I actually, I think I've used this. What I, I remember, this has, yep, shorter little yeah. teeth and then longer teeth on the on either side. It's just side. a great formula and it doesn't flake. It doesn't get like, it, it gets crunchy. I will warn you. It's yeah. like a very crunchy brow product. If you try to brush this out, it's like, like it's not gonna, <laughs> you're, you're gonna pull your brow hairs out. It's that strong, but this is just like, I cannot live without this brow gel. Okay. So okay, that's one on the list. Okay. That's one. That's number one. Okay, I'm gonna go in with definitely the product that I use every single day, whether I'm wearing no makeup or a full face of glam. If you watch my videos, you know about this product. This is the Elastin Skincare Hydro Tint Mineral, uh, Pro Mineral, what is the name of this? It's a tinted sunscreen. <laughs> we wear sunscreen every day, I yeah, hope, right? every day. This has a tint to it. What I love about this is that it, it, I wouldn't say it gives coverage, but it has a tint, so your skin looks, your skin looks better than bare skin when you mm -hmm. put this on. You'll still see your, you know, blemishes through it but yeah. on days that i don't want to wear foundation i'll wear this with a little bit of concealer and i'll be good to go but it also pairs well under every single foundation that i apply it on oh so i could wear it under a liquid foundation i could wear it under a powder foundation i could wear it under a cream full coverage sheer every wow. foundation and it looks great under it so this is my favorite i've probably purchased eight of these i mean you're um, almost out of this one too well and what i love about this this is a bonus too because it's kind of pricey for i forget i think it's like 60 dollars um and you get well you do get th over three ounces which is a lot that's a lot but that's a good amount the bonus of this is that it's i don't know what they do with this packaging but you will get every last drop out of this. You oh, really? You know, sometimes you use products and then you you can't pump any more anything yeah. else out of it, but you can tell there's still product yeah, in there. Yeah, I hate that. Not the case with this. It's like suctioned and you will get every single drop out of it. So. No way. Yes. So you probably still have a good amount just down here. Yes, I know. It looks like it's almost out, but I, I can probably get another several weeks out of well, this. See, that's good to know because like it helps with the price tag. Like if something's more expensive, yes. like it's, it helps to know you're not going to waste like totally whatever's left over in the tube, like just because the packaging is not great, you know? Yeah. Like, I like that a lot. Honestly, I this is another product that you, you need totally to get influence it. me on yeah you need this is one product when i don't know about you but like when you love a product and you have like viewers that will go out and buy it and then they come back and tell you oh my god i love it yeah. this is one that i hear over and over and over you told me about this and i love it so okay i'm, I'm sold you're gonna hear me like talking about it now and be like lisa j totally <laughs> influence me by that 
Okay, I'm definitely gonna get those products. I'm gonna add them to my cart like tonight when I'm home. I wanna know about this one right here. Okay, okay, so yeah, you, so Lisa took a peek over at my, my stuff and she was like, what is this for? I'm like, let me tell you. This is a newer favorite of mine, but this has replaced every single gel eyeliner and pencil and liquid liner in my pro kit. I believe it. I love that formula. I was oh. just surprised when I saw black. I was like, do you use that oh for liner? Gosh. Like, yes. yes. This is, is the best. Honestly, if you were to buy, if I were to recommend now, and I, look, I'm late to the game on this. I can't believe it's taking me so long to try this, but like, this is the most incredible black, mm. pitch black liner you will ever get. Like with this product, you'd also use it as a base. There are like multiple, yeah. multiple purposes for this. Cause they're like a multi-use product, which I think is so great. But it's Danessa Myricks. If I didn't say the name yet, it's Danessa Myricks Color Fix Matte. It's a waterproof matte liquid pigment, multi-use all over <laughs> face. It's a mouthful, but this as a black wing liner or just a black liner you won't get a better black liner in your entire life like this is the this beats out every single formula i've ever tried and i'm so picky with my black liners and my pro kit especially i do love that formula i have it in a couple of nude shades and a taupe shade and i yeah. would say i think that it was intimidating at first i walked by the danessa max counter so many times and i was I saw these you know yeah. color fix pigments and i'm like oh that seems intimidating to use like yeah. daily like I could see that. They're some of my favorites now. Yeah. Like, I, it was one of those products that I was like, I can't believe I, it took me so long to try this. I feel like all of her products, though, are high-performing yeah. products. And they can seem a little pro, mm -hmm. but... Well, they are pro. They're definitely pro. Yeah, but they're also great for, you know, consumers, too, I think. Oh, for sure. It's, I mean, just, it's just taking that that step, purchasing mm -hmm. the product, and, and playing with it and trying it. Yeah, and I, I've walked by this one, too, like, a couple times. And I, I, I had had, like, sh some of, the, like, the fun shimmers in my kit before, and, like, some of the neutral mattes. I still have the neutral mattes in my kit, too. But I never got the blackout one. That's mm -hmm. the actual shade. It just, like, knocks my socks off, to be quite mm -hmm. honest. Like, really, truly knocks my socks off. And every time I use this on a client, they're like what did you use for that black line? I'm like, I'm not, I don't even want to tell you, <laughs> but I do, of course, I don't gatekeep anything as you probably know. This is just fantastic. I will never not have this in my pro kit and I have one on the way for myself too now because I need so it. So good. Okay, so my What's turn. next? What's next? Okay, I've got something else. This is, um, this was an interesting choice for my foundation because it is a pretty like basic product. The Jane Iredell Mineral Pure Pressed foundation okay let me talk about this product I, I grabbed it because this is just an easy go-to foundation it's so quick and easy to apply it's a powder foundation so it literally takes no time to apply it but it doesn't look like any other powder foundation that i've used in the past this looks so natural on my skin yeah i mean it looks like some of my favorite liquid foundations it has an spf of 20 in it so that's always nice jane iredell is a brand that i really like jumped into over the last year. Mm -hmm. They make really clean products. They're, they call themselves the skincare makeup because they have mm. a lot of ingredients in it that are yeah. good for the skin. And you know, I have a lot of favorite foundations. I have some of my favorites sitting over here, but the reason I ultimately landed on this one for this video. I am surprised. I, love, I know. I, I, yeah, I, I, I love know. it. I'm, I'm very impressed. It is. It's kind of a, a basic product, but it. I, I landed on it because again, I just use it all the time. Yeah. It's so easy. I travel with it. It's a foundation. Oh, I can grab. see like that would be such a great product to travel with. Yeah. Do you touch up with that too? Or is it just like I a, don't. okay. So I it's don't. just like a first application. Mm -hmm. It's, a, it's a like a foundation. Yes, it okay. is. It's a foundation. I always tell people that because some people, if you purchase this and use it as a setting powder over a liquid foundation, I kind of tell people, okay, that would kind of be like putting a liquid foundation on and then later throughout the day, putting more liquid on top of it. Okay. That makes sense. So you have to treat it like a foundation. Yeah. The beauty of it is depending on the tool that you're using, if you're using a big, large, fluffy brush, it'll apply it very light and sheer. Mm -hmm. But if you're using a more densely packed brush, it'll give you more full coverage. Mm -hmm. So um, there is some versatility with it that way, depending on how you apply it. But yeah, I love it. You know, this might not be a product you'd keep in your kit for clients, but this would be a really great product to keep in your like staple yeah. makeup collection for, you know, when I go to the beach, this is what I take. When I, you know. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. day to day, I love this. It just seems so quick and easy. And every time I've watched you use that product, I, again, every time I watch you use products, I always like make a mental list of what I want to buy because yeah. I get very heavily influenced because we have very similar tastes and like things that we like and we are both makeup artists in our background and stuff. So it just... I feel like we like a lot of the same products and every time you pull that out first of all it always looks so beautiful on your skin and you do layer it on top of the elastin i do yes i will I put, put this on and then i will wear this on and i love that that top. works that combo it's so good yeah so i'm getting a little extra skin yeah. a little extra spf coverage but that's a cool combo and like i feel yeah. like i i'm always on the go doing my makeup and i want things that are quick and easy for mm -hmm. myself like 
So I, I just need to get it. Long story short, I need to get it. I really do. I have to get on that. It's pore blurring. You don't need this because you have no pores, visible pores. They're there. But this... Just don't look closely. <laughs> when I pack this on, my skin looks smooth and blurred. I don't think they make any marketing claims it's pore blurring. Yeah. But for me, I put it on, I'm like, oh, my skin looks smooth. I feel like your skin always looks smooth, no matter what formula you put on your skin. But Thanks. I'm just always... So impressed, like when you put that on, I'm always like, I, why have I not bought that? Well, okay, speaking of like pore blurring and smoothing, I literally cannot live without this in my pro kit and for myself. It's the Givenchy Prism Libre powder. The shade in particular that I go through the most frequently for my pro kit and myself is number three. So the number three has like slight rosy tint to it. It's perfect for under your eyes. You influenced me on this. I did? You okay, did. good. Yes, you, were yeah. you did a video, I, th I forget which video it was, but you were talking about that. Talk about a lot, yeah. I was like, I'm getting that. I think people were like getting, I actually, I took a little break from using this because I, A, I ran out, but also I felt like I was just using it too much in videos. And mm. you know, you wanna like yeah, show some variety. variety. For sure. You know, people want, they don't wanna see the same thing over and over again, but it really does tell you how much I love a product and like we love products when you see them multiple times in videos like it just shows you like we truly love these truly. products and that's why we use them on a regular basis anyway this product i cannot live without it is skin blurring fine line blurring texture blurring mattifying but in a very soft, soft focused way, way. Yep. yeah i have it on now I, it's it's fantastic i have it under my eyes i cannot live without this product this is something i'll always buy probably for the rest of my life until if, <laughs> if they ever discontinue it i'll have to like hunt down the factory and, and buy stock or something. <laughs> okay, my turn. So I cannot live without a really great peachy pink blush. I have really just been on the cream blush wagon for the last couple years. And this is one of my favorites. This is the Westman Atelier blush in the shade Petal. Do you I use their products? Petal. I know, so, wait, so you, good. you have no idea how much I love Petal. Yeah, I, I, I know. have so many Petals. I can't live without this one. It's good. There's something about it. it there is. I, I, I was very fortunate that the first product I purchased from Westman Atelier was this product because I use this and of course that was amazing. So then it got me excited to try more from yeah. the brand. It's just a really beautiful, beautiful like pe peachy warm pink warm it gives pink. This, it's like a neutral pink yes and it gives this the, the skin a very like youthful glow yeah and it's got the right amount of pigment to where it's not a sheer blush it's not like a tinted blush but it's also very easy to work with it's not too pigmented it's very easy to blend out mm -hmm. it gives the skin a little bit of a glow because of the formula and the texture of it but there's no pearlescence to it yeah um it is really really beautiful i i'm actually jealous that you put that in your top 10 because that you that's are, like one of yours almost yeah, almost I, made the list. It almost made my list a hundred percent. I just yeah. I, that formula in general, and there's so many other great colors too. But like petal really is like a showstopper. It's it like is. especially if you're a makeup artist or if you're if you're a bridal makeup artist. Like if you don't have petal, you have to go run out and get petal because this is like I feel like the ultimate bridal pink, and also just like a soft natural pink. But this is a must. It's beautiful. Like, yeah, truly a must. I and know it's, it's my pricey. favorite shade. It's my favorite shade out of them. same. Yeah, I've gotten some others, uh, and this is my favorite. Yeah, they're all so good. But the formula, like you just can't go wrong with that formula. Yeah. I think it's really well worth the price. I do too. It's I know a splurge. It's a splurge, yeah, but you but really can feel it. You can, and the packaging is beautiful. It feels like a special product. Oh yeah, it feels you know? like luxury. You like, yeah. especially because like the top is mag magnetic. magnetic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just it, this is like you're definitely paying for the packaging 100. percent But at least the product that you get in is also like equally yes. impressive. Exactly, it lives up. That's to a the great price one. Though. That is a really great yeah. one. Okay, speaking of like pricey products that are creams. I'm excited <laughs> about it. I gotta, you got to talk to me about this. Have you used this? Is it the bronzer? It's the um, uh, yeah, contour. It's okay. Shade and Illuminate. It's a Tom Ford. Oh my gosh. Lisa, how have you not tried this? This is my personal one. I have other ones in my kit as well. These, This is a product that I cannot live without, mainly in my pro kit. Like this is something I always, always restock yes. in my pro okay. kit. Yeah. I do a lot of natural makeup looks. Um, I do a lot of glam glams, but I also do a lot like primarily like a lot of like natural makeup looks mm -hmm. like for photo shoots for lifestyle stuff for clients um and this is like my holy grail cream bronzer but also my cream mm -hmm. highlight so the highlight part is so underrated i talk about this a lot the highlighter part is so underrated can you swatch that yeah one? it gives the most beautiful like glass skin effect oh, okay it's so pretty that. it's so so pretty That's and then pretty. the bronzer is like a perfect Ooh, bronzer wow that is pretty I wear the shade Intensity One. There's different intensities. They're all fantastic. Like, honestly, all fantastic. But this is a product that I can't... Can I see? I have to have it in my kit at all times. Would I wear the same shade? Yeah, you would definitely do Intensity One, for sure. 
Okay, that's pretty. Yeah, see, I wouldn't think to use that. This would be a product that I bought and just did this. Yeah, but, and a I lot of people say that, yeah. Yeah, but it's really beautiful. I know, it's so pretty. You know what? This is the prettiest mm -hmm. highlighter if you just want, like, if you want to add, this one's mine, so I'm just going to add it to my eyelid. If you want, like, a balmy, that's quick pretty. balmy pop and a quick glow to your eyelids without adding like an actual shimmer the impact this gives it's so stunning it's just so it's like such a staple for me when i'm doing more of like a natural glam mm, that's pretty and i don't like if i have a client that doesn't want like actual shimmer but they like a little I glow like. every time i bust this out Does but it stay in place it's not gonna stay on through like nine to five <laughs> but <laughs> for an evening out when yeah you just like a little extra bit to get you through the night it's perfect, perfect. for that okay. yeah i'm gonna buy that too but yeah look how pretty that is it just that's pretty Soft. I also, just one more thing, because I'm, I'm so obsessed with this product. If you add it to the tear duct, it's especially beautiful. Oh, that is pretty. So if you like, mm -hmm. the light hits you the right way, it's like, oh, she just has like glowy skin. Her skin's just without, flawless. Yeah. You know? I, I could go on forever. I love this product so much. I, I'll it, move on. So I should get this one too. This you color. have to get it. Okay. Absolutely. I'm going to text you so you know to get it. So you don't <laughs> no, forget no, it. I won't forget it. I won't forget it. We should send each other a list after this and be like, yeah. these are the products you need. This yes. is what you have to go out and get yes. now. Okay, what's your next one? Okay, my next one is, this is the best eyeliner of all time. It's uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon in the shade Amber Haze. You used to use I this. used to use this all the time. When she saw this sitting here, she's like, oh my God, I used to use this too. I got so excited. So what this is, it's an eye crayon essentially, but I wouldn't think of it like a long wear cream shadow stick because it mm. dries pretty quickly. So you could use this on the eyes and smudge it with your finger and blend it all out, but you're gonna kind of have to work quickly. Yeah. Um, it's like a thicker, it's like a really chubby eyeliner. I love this color. It mm. is just the most gorgeous. Amber. It's bronze. so stunning. It is stunning. The only downside, I, I wish they made it in a little smaller, uh, just because you have to keep it sharp. I always yeah. have to keep it sharp to get the perfect line, otherwise it's a little too thick. Mm -hmm. But what I love about this is not only the color, it's stunning and beautiful, and I've, I've got a ton of bronze eyeliners. Every time I see a, a bronze eyeliner, I pick it up. Same. But there's something about this tone and this particular shade that is very special. It's also a, a product that when I'm like packing for a vacation, it's not a vacation where I'm gonna wear a lot of makeup, mm -hmm. but I want to have one piece of eye makeup aside from mascara, it's this. Because I can, I can totally see that. I can just line my eyes with this, put mascara on, and I feel very beautiful. Yeah. But it's very simple. Yeah. I don't have to do eyeshadow. I, I absolutely love this. I think it's stunning. I can see that bring out your eyes so well too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that that color in particular, I remember I always have, I don't know why I don't have it in my pro kit anymore. I need to go out and get it. Like that totally inspired me to go mm -hmm. pick that up again. But it just, it works on everyone. It does. That it's, color is so pretty on everyone. It is so pretty. And I want to show like, you know, you can move it and manipulate mm -hmm. it a little bit, but it's it's not as creamy as like a long wear cream shadow stick. So I just say that because it's really more of an aligner for me versus an all over the lid type of product. Yeah, unless you work like really, really quick, quickly. Yeah, yeah, and buffed it out really fast. But exactly. I love those. That is such a great like tried and true formula. I think that's one like Charlotte Tilbury's best products. I agree. You know, Agreed. like mm -hmm. I think it's like a staple. Like if you're gonna buy something from Charlotte Tilbury, you should definitely check those out. Definitely. That was a good one. I When I saw that, I was like geeked out. I was so excited. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to an eye product too. This is an eyeshadow palette that I never, ever, ever go to work without. Like this will always be stocked in my makeup kit. When I get asked, which I get asked on a regular basis, what do you recommend for like a one and done eyeshadow palette that has like everything you need? I say, well, you need to get this because this is an absolute must if you're a professional makeup artist or if you just want something compact for yourself that has all the, the nice neutral browns that you could ever one. need. It even has a really great black, dark browns. You have everything you need in this palette. Yes, it's all matte, but if you have like one to two shimmers that you can just kind of pop on top to like add a different finish to this eyeshadow palette, you're set. So this is something I always recommend. It's I, fantastic. I love it too. And I will do a complete look with that. I'm yeah. all about an all matte look and that's yeah. one of my go-to palettes. Yeah, I saw like when I, when I saw her studio, this was like sitting on the right desk. there. Yeah. Yes. I don't keep much makeup on my desk. I always put everything away. So yeah. if it's on my desk, it means that I use it in almost every video. Yeah. Um, it made the cut. It did. Yeah, it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. This is something like, it's one of the first items when I'm unpacking my kit for a job. It's one of the first items that I'm like, that's going to come out. This is going to come out. <laughs> it's just a must. I think it's such a great product. I think Makeup by Mario is, he's just so incredibly talented and like the genius behind this palette. It's been copied so many times too, I, mm -hmm. I feel like after he launched this, but I think he was just the original and just so genius to come out with this palette. And you know, this was based on skin tones. I didn't know that. All these matte mm -hmm. shadows, all these tones are based off of real life skin tones. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. just so thoughtful and it just i feel like it just adds to the the fact that it's such an essential because it really does work on everybody Mm -hmm. so the colors are just fantastic i love that holy grail product right there if you don't have it that could have been in my top 10 but yeah. i'm glad i didn't pick it so i know i'm surprised top, yeah yeah it's okay we had good variety yes okay, well i'm gonna next? i'm gonna go to like the palette that i packed because okay. when i thought about like a product that i can't live without it is a palette that has warm matte shades in it so that's mm. why that one would have been on my list i grabbed the super nudes palette from charlotte tilbury oh it's a little mini guy. This. You never used this? No, I've never used it. Oh my gosh, you have to try it. You'll love it. But that's so similar to, yeah. Okay, it is. Idea. Yeah. It's similar, but on a smaller scale. So it has uh, six shades in here. There's only six of them. And um, they are matte, but they are they also have a little bit of a sheen. I don't really actually know if they're technically oh. matte. But they're not shimmer. They're not frosty. They're a very like... Um, is it like satin kind of? Yeah, maybe. Like a satin kind of. But yeah. But uh, it, when it lays on the skin, it essentially looks matte. There's just a little bit of a sheen to it, so it doesn't look flat matte. That Got it. Sense. Yeah. Um, and I love this because there's a couple warm shades. There's also a couple cool shades. You have a highlight shade in here. You have a great. You have a couple great shades for my, mm. you know, for your crease. Yeah. And you have a black for your liner. Ooh. Um, and they're That's just a good palette. They're very consistent. They they're very easy to blend out. They are very smooth. You know, I think it's really special when you find a good quality matte shadow because sometimes they can be patchy or can be difficult to get an even blend Mm -hmm. and this is just a stunning formula and i like that it's small it's a Mm -hmm. great travel palette and it's also just a great palette to reach for when i'm doing my makeup really quick and i don't have a lot of time to think about what i need to do it's like highlight crease lid boom and we're done yeah. Okay, I'm totally influenced. I'm going to buy that. Yeah, this one's good. What is this one called, though? It's called the Super Nudes. Okay. So it's great. You know, you can create one whole look from it, but it's also great to have as a complement to, you know, your color palettes yeah. or your shimmer palettes. It's like an essential. Yeah, yeah. essential. That's a good, well-rounded palette, too. I feel like, I mean, if you have six really solid shades, that's, mm-hmm. you know, that's actually more than what you need. So I feel like that's a really good compact palette. I like that. Very good. I'm very influenced. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to add to cart so many things. Okay, what is my next one? Let's do... Let's talk about brows, okay? Because it wouldn't be... You have to have a brow. It wouldn't be right of me... Yeah, to skip that. If I didn't include a brow product as something I can't live without because I won't leave my house without (laughs) some degree of brow products in my brows. Like, I just... Call me vain. I'm a little self-conscious of my lack of brow and I'm always creating a brow from scratch. So I can't live without a good brow pencil. It doesn't have to be this one, but this is like a current favorite. It's the Kosas Brow Pop Nano. It's like that fine... Oh yeah, that is. I'm already out. I've been blowing <laughs> through these so quickly. Uh, luckily, I restocked them on during it's the little. Is that the sale. full size? Or yeah. Is, okay. Yeah, and it's actually the same amount inside mm. as like a typical brow pencil. It just looks seemingly small, so just mm, keep that okay. in mind. But it's like a nano, tiny little fine tip pencil, which allows you to really go in there and draw on like actual yeah. brow hairs. Yeah. yeah. So you can create a yeah. brow. Looks very natural from scratch, mm-hmm. like from which is what I do daily, mm-hmm. is create a brow from scratch. So I can't live without a good brow pencil. This is like. A must. Like you will find. If I was on a deserted island, I would ask for a <laughs> brow would. pencil. Okay. Well, I would also. Should I talk about brow? Let me let me mix it up. I have a good brow pencil, but I'm gonna mix it up. Okay. Okay. One product, just like desert island product. Yeah. You know that you would ask for would be a really great concealer. Something that conceals really well, that's hydrating, and that doesn't look heavy. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of my can't live without product is that. This is a newer product. Uh, so I'm giving that disclaimer because most of the products that I've shared so far are products I've been using for a really long time. This is a newer product to me, but I instantly fell in love with it the first time I used it. It's the Natasha Denona Concealer. And I'm the shade P3. And I just love this concealer because it checks every box for me. It's great coverage. It's lightweight. Mm -hmm. Um, It has a natural finish. It doesn't look heavy. Um, It doesn't like migrate a lot. I don't want to say it doesn't crease because I feel like every concealer creases if you don't do the proper, you know. Or if you use too much. Yes, you use too much. You don't set it. You whatever. You know, there's, you can't. It's hard to make that claim. But this is long wearing. It is absolutely beautiful. It's very, very natural on Mm. the skin. Again, I'm the shade P3. It's a perfect shade for me because it's deep enough and peachy enough to cancel out darkness and neutralize Mm -hmm. it. But it also gives me a bright, like, highlight look underneath the eye. That's what you Um, have on today, right? I do. I have it on today. Yeah, Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I'm I'm 40, and I definitely noticed over the last couple years, like, I used to put my concealer on and I wouldn't really think about it later throughout the day. I'd go on and I don't think about it. Now, if I use the wrong concealer, if I use Mm -hmm. too much concealer, When I look in the mirror, you know, five, six hours later, I'm like, oh my gosh, my concealer is making my under eye look, it's magnifying the texture in my eyes. It's making me see texture that I didn't even see when I had no makeup on, you know? So now I'm very conscious of 
concealers that I use and they're using the right yeah. amount, not overdoing it. And 100%. so this one, this one uh, passes my test. Okay, yeah. sold. And I actually just put a, t a <laughs> load of those. A bunch of these. Yeah, I was telling Lisa off camera, I'm like, I just bought like a ton of these to put in my pro kit and I, d I forgot to buy one for myself. So I don't know why, what I was thinking, but. When, when it's in your pro kit, you know it's a good product. Cause it it's gonna look beautiful and it's I also I blindly bought them. Oh, you and did? And I've never done that before. I got so influenced well, by I, everyone loving them. Cause yes. everyone loves this concealer. So I'm like, I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch and just knock out my old ones and just. Wow, that's bold of you. I just felt yeah. like switching just, it up. I, I, know? I was influenced by Ali on Andrea. Oh, Ali Andrea. yeah. She, oh my gosh, she's, she's amazing. amazing. I love her. Yes, she's, she loves this and I was like. Her okay. and I will DM every once in a while and yeah. I always is like. <laughs> yeah, she's, she, I love her. I love she's, her content. She's amazing. Love, yeah, she's, she's, and she's stunning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she does love that concealer. I think that's actually part, partly Where why I, got I just like put it blindly in my kit without even trying it or even swatching it. I hadn't even swatched it, which says a lot. I have a lot of like trust in this product. Um, that's a great one. Let's switch it over to something really fun. For me, I just did a brow pencil, so I feel like I need to like throw something fun something in there. Different, yeah. People are probably so tired of me talking about this palette. I know, I know even Mitch is like behind the camera <laughs> going, oh, really the Dior palette again? Yes, I know. I have to keep this like really authentic. Like this is truly, truly yeah. authentic. Yeah, as you should be. Yeah, I mean, yeah. when I travel for work, whether it's, for, well, when I travel for work, let me just say, if I'm gonna bring a highlighter for, I have this for myself and I also have it in my pro kit. This is the only highlighter I will bring because I can do so many different things with it. And it's the only highlighter that I'll pack in my pro kit when I'm trying to condense my makeup for like a light, which is like very difficult and challenging to do. I will obviously like downsize a ton mm -hmm. and I'll I'll know that I'm fully covered if I with just that. have this palette. It's the original one. It's the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in Universal. There's four different shades. And it's everything you need. Okay, question. You said original. Yeah. Do they mean? That, does that mean they don't make them anymore? Or? No, they have a couple of different other shades. Okay. So like, there's a um, peachier one. There's like a gold themed one that okay. I think was discontinued. This is like the OG original one. It's very hard to find. I will say that. So will don't you swatch it on me, please. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd ask to swatch it myself, but this is have your you personal. Not used this? What? I know. It's crazy. This has Lisa J written I all know. over it. I cannot believe you have not tried this. I think we do need to go to Sephora later. I, we do. And honestly, this as an eyeshadow. Shadow. I was, that's what I was thinking. That'd be beautiful. Stunning. Absolutely. I bet this stunning. makes, I get, I bet the light one gives the same shade as the uh, Tom Ford almost. It does. Look at that. And then this, oh, the pink one as a gosh. blush chopper. Oh my goodness. That is insane. But you know what else you can do? You can swirl all these colors together. Wait, you missed that one. Oh, I, you're right. Hold on, we're out of fingers. That was the, that'd be the one I would probably use the most. Oh yeah, right. this is definitely the most used one for sure. It's like a soft, oh my gosh, golden, like a champ, like a golden champagne. These are so pretty. And if you apply it with the light, because this seems a little strong for my face. Yeah. But if you use the right brush, if you use the right brush, it could be soft. Absolutely, it could okay. be very, very soft and I just need this. Yeah, they're stunning. They're absolutely stunning. And like I said, it just gives you everything you need in one palette. So if you're, again, if you're a makeup artist, I just I have to help you out. If you don't want to buy a ton of highlighters, just get this one and you're good set. to go. Yeah. Do you like the other one though, the peach one that you said? Or did they discontinue it? I don't like the formulas in that one as much. Oh, there's really? actually some different formulas in the peachier one. They're really pretty colors, but there's they there's just quite. different formulas in it. Okay. This is like a very smooth texture. That is really formula. it almost feels like a cream to powder. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But even if you just put these on the eyes as well, mm -hmm. it's just it's stunning. a stunning product. I okay, cannot live without this Dior palette. Let's set aside everything I'm gonna buy after this. Okay, yeah, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you need everything. Okay. You need so many things. Well, I feel like the next products are gonna be a little boring compared to that. Um, it's okay, I have some boring stuff too. Okay, so I'm gonna go to brow. That's my turn to share my brow pencil. Um, a brow pencil obviously is a can't live without. I also yeah. have um, in brow challenged. I don't have the greatest brows. So I usually have a two-step process to my brows. I have a pencil and then I have a volume fiber yeah. brow gel to add some volume. The uh, pencil that I've been loving this this year is the Makeup Forever Aqua mm -hmm. Resist Brow Filler. I am the shade Deep Blonde. Um, it has a little spoolie like nice. most of them do. And then I like this because it's, so it's one of the thicker brow pencils, yeah. totally opposite of yours. Wow. Um, yeah, but I love the consistency of this. It's very creamy, so it just glides onto the skin really effortlessly. High pigment payoff. I, you can use the tip of it. As you start to use it, it gets a little bit more dull, but when you first purchase this, the tip is really nice and sharp. Oh, nice. So you can use the tip to get finer. I mean, it won't be as fine as yours, but it, yeah. will, it will. you can create hair-like strokes which is what I do right here. I'll kind of flick it up. And then it's a, th a thicker side so you can create more of a full brow, mm. you know, on the uh, second half of your brow. This I feel like is a quick, easy cheat to a more precise brow pencil. Yeah. Like if you have the time, if I have the time, I'll use a brow yeah. pencil like that. I Normally that. I'm kind of in a rush. And so I'll use something like this because it cuts me about half the time on my brows. Oh, I can totally see that. Okay, I'm normally I wouldn't go for like a larger head product like that. It just, it, 
I feel like it would just give me like too intense of a brow, but I am very influenced. I'm definitely going to pick that up. And I like that you said it makes it faster. It makes it faster. And you do have to have light pressure. You can't, yeah, you can't go, sense. yeah, if you, if you, that's going to help control the, the softness of the brow yeah. because you can go a little too strong with this if you're, mm. if you're, if you put too much pressure. And you so. feel like it's long lasting, like long wearing. Yes. Okay. Cause Definitely. I have really oily, like my brows throughout the day get so incredibly oily mm. and shiny and they start to, if I don't set them right, if I don't do all my preparations right for my brows, like if I don't finesse them and, woo, and wine and dine them, they <laughs> will not stay where I want them to stay. And they get really, like, my sunscreen starts to, like, seep in. Kind of, like, start to feather out. Yeah, and yeah. I, I, I get, like, a kind of, like, a blurred uh, brow throughout the day if I don't, like, properly do all my preparations. Yeah. Do you feel like that stays pretty matte? I do. Yeah, okay. I do. Okay, sold. And I love okay. Makeup Forever. I feel like, like, all their yeah, products are really... They really, uh, they're done well. Yeah, they are done well. well. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, speaking of brows. So you said exactly what I, I do every day, which is we have a two-step brow process. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes mine's a four-step, but like I try, <laughs> if I only have time for a two-step, I'll do a two-step. I cannot live without a fiber brow gel also. Like yeah. this is something that I, I will not skip in my brows. My favorite by far, and I've tried every single fiber brow product, except for one that you tried earlier, the Too Faced one. Uh -huh. I haven't tried that one, the yeah. brow wig, but I, that's on my list now. But this from e.l.f., it's the Brow Wow. It's $5. You can get it at like CVS, Target, Walmart, like any any drugstore, it's available. $5, it's the best $5 you'll ever spend on your brows. Like the fiber in this is so good. The brush is small, so you can I get in that. there. Yeah, yeah, so. and you can be precise. You can like maneuver it the way you want to. It's not too big where you don't have control and it get, gets messy. Mm -hmm. I absolutely swear by this product. I've turned so many people onto this. You turned they, me onto that when you didn't did. Did I? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I know. I saw it. And I was like, oh, we're definitely using this today. And the other thing you did when you did my brows was you combed backwards. Yeah, um, to both sides. Yep, yep, yep. And that really thickens them up. This brow gel is just fantastic. Mm -hmm. I can't rave about it enough. Like just. If you ever need a full volumizing brow gel and you don't want to spend a lot of money, you have to get That's this. One. And the colors are great too. Yeah, Elf makes good products. They you know, do. They don't. This product is really like a standout, standout. to me. Yeah. yeah. But the but packaging is like, stuff. yeah, they have great, great, very high performing. Yeah. They don't have the best, most exciting packaging, but that's okay. That's you know? okay. It's a trade know, off. That's why you're paying a lot less. Too, yeah, you know? exactly. You're, you're yep. saving a ton of money. You're getting straightforward packaging. Who cares? Exactly. Like it's fine. We can see the bougie days for like West Mentor. It's okay. That's called balance with makeup. <laughs> That's this is true. This is true. Okay, my turn. We have two products left. Let me I figure know. out. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my uh, mascara. Mascara is a must too as well. There's a few products that I won't leave the house without. Well, that's not true. Sometimes I'll leave the house without mascara. But you know, even on my no makeup days, it's a concealer, it's a brow pencil, it's my SPF, which I don't think that counts as makeup because it's SPF. You need it. You need it. Yeah. That's like essential. But mascara is one of them. And I, I feel like the last two years, there have been a lot of really great mascara formulas that have hit the market. Mm -hmm. But this one is kind of my current favorite. It's the, and I, and I love sharing this because I feel like Bobbi Brown, in particular, this product is a very underrated product. It's not a product that I think we see a lot of talk about on, in the beauty space, you know, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. I don't see a lot of creators sharing this mascara. And I always like sharing like little secrets. This is the this Smoky is so Eye good. Mascara. And it's just a really great traditional mascara. There's nothing super exciting about the packaging. There's nothing super exciting about the wand. It looks just like your traditional classic mascara. But what I love about this mascara is it gives, I have it on today. I have this paired with my lash primer. Mm. What this does is it gives lots of volume, lots of length. But the best thing I love about this is that it gives a soft, fluttery look. The lashes yeah. are separated, they're fluttery. You know, dramatic lashes are great, but if, an hour or two hours later, I look in the mirror and my lashes look like they might break if mm -hmm. I bend them, you know, or they look yeah. crispy, you know, that look I'm, that's... I, I'm, I've been looking at your lashes this whole time and they're just so, they're so, um, beautiful. Thank you. They look so good. I knew that, that combo is stunning. It's a good combo. When and you pulled that out, I was like, Bobby Brown. I know. Like, I'm telling you. I've never seen this mascara in my life. <laughs> It's a good one. It's a really good one. I think it's great for people with short lashes or like oh, good to know. Some people, you know, want length or they want volume. Um, this kind of hits everybody. So I think it's a great, it's a product that I would recommend to most people. Yeah. And it doesn't run? No, it doesn't run. Okay. So like, you don't get like the nope. smudgy, nope. I slept in my mascara look? No. Okay. And it's not too heavy. So you can wear it on the lower lash line. Just good. a light coat of it. Uh, some mascaras are, I think, too heavy to do that with. Oh, uh, yes. This yeah. one's not the case. Okay. So. I definitely I'm going to add that to cart that you totally totally sold me on that mascara and then when I saw it on your like granted you have really good lashes thanks it depends on the day because you know 
your lashes grow and shed. Yeah, and sometimes they do. They do. Yeah, I yeah. have like good weeks in, yes. in the month with my lashes, and I have really bad weeks where I'm like, wow, I need to start wearing false lashes <laughs> to get me some to get me impact. That was a good one. Okay, what you got? Okay, my last ones are lip oriented. Spoiler alert. I'm gonna save the best for last, okay? So I'm gonna skip to lip liner. This is a travel size one from Makeup Forever. Now I will just say like, you know how like concealer is something that you can't live without? Mm -hmm. I feel like lip liner is something that I can't live without. And it can be any formula. I have a lot of favorites. This is like one of my holy grails, especially this color. This is Anywhere Caffeine from Makeup Forever. And again, this is just a travel size. I have like tons of full sizes. I'm addicted to this lip liner. Have you not used this? No, I did see you talk about it in a video and it was a mental add to oh, cart to me. Yeah, you, never you, gotta, out. you better check out. <laughs> check that cart out with it, add it <laughs> to it. And then, <laughs> okay, me. you're gonna be embarrassed. I can't show this because I, I need to sharpen <laughs> it. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, I need to sharpen this. It is the- It looks like a great nude. It's fantastic, fantastic. I just it, need to like send you all these It's giving me like spice vibes, but maybe not. Maybe better. Not better. I think it's better. Oh, it's so funny. It pulls a little more- um, It's spicy on me. Yeah. I feel Ooh. like it looks more mauve on me. It does. It does. That's so interesting. interesting. Okay. Yeah. Look at, I, if you can tell, you, you're not gonna be able to tell, but it pulls so much more mauve on me. It and on Lisa, it's me. a little more like yep. spice. Mm -hmm. Definitely. If you're not getting the reference, Spice Lip Liner from MAC is yeah. what we're talking about. Cause that's gotta be the, that, that was probably the first best selling lip liner before Pillow Talk. Don't you think? Oh, definitely. So. Yeah. Spice and Whirl was big. Whirl was big. Whirl was Spice really was the big. original. The yeah, original right, huh? um, viral lip liner. It was. Yeah. Who wore it? Wasn't it like one of the models? Was Linda like Evangelista. That, yeah. Yep. Knew it. <laughs> yeah, Spice is such a great one. But any lip liner in general is, I, I, I genuinely, it sounds really vain, but I will not leave. I don't have, here, a little side story, okay? I have, I have full lips, but I don't have um, a defined lip line. Like the color of my lip line just blurs into the rest of my skin. So my lip line is not defined unless I bring it out with a lip liner. And I'm very self-conscious about that. So like, you won't find me without lip liner. Like <laughs> I blow through lip liner, like there is no tomorrow. Like I just buy them constantly, but this is like, holy grail. Yeah. Okay. You have to add I'm gonna to add, yeah. We need, I'm not even kidding. We need to go shop. Okay. So the next product that I have and the last product that I have is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. And this is a travel size. So this is smaller. Oh, they, it is? They come in larger sizes. Oh, okay. Yeah. This I is like, I think this was one of the first formulas of that glossy hydrating lip balm that we're seeing so many brands come out with now. I love that type of product. I feel like it's very hydrating to the lips. It's, I like that they have a moderate level of pigment. So you get some color, but it's also translucent. So mm -hmm. it just lends itself to be very versatile. This color is the shade Rose. I'm gonna, sw let me swatch this in your hand, actually. Please. Yeah. This color is the shade Rose, and it's just a nice, pretty, light, Wait, do they smell? rosy pink. Oh, kind of. A little bit, really yeah. soft. There's that a soft is... scent to it. That's really pretty. Super glossy. What I love about this particular one That's really um, pretty. is that we were just talking off camera that some of them, you use them one time, and then as they heat up, you can't even swipe it on your lips because you'll have chunks of it that yeah. land on your lips, and you end up having to just press it on. This one is the most stable of the formulas. I feel like you can really, you know, continue to use it without it getting super messy. They yeah. come in a ton of colors. This is the shade Rose. It's one of my favorites. Uh, you can wear it alone, but you can also top it over lipstick. Right now I have it on top of this LYS. That's um, such a pretty combo. Lipstick. Yeah. Yeah, just, I love that. It gives a very juicy lip. It looks like lip gloss, but it's not um, as heavy as lip gloss. And it's not sticky too. Like it's no. very like, it almost feels like, like a conditioning lip balm. It's very, very conditioning. Yeah. I like, I might have to get that for my yeah. kit. I have these everywhere. These are all over my house. I can see why. <laughs> yeah. I love that for like daily use where yes. like you don't have to have a mirror in front of you to put it on. Like it's one of those like I could put it on with my eyes closed exactly. kind of product. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's easy. You've got great products. Thanks. You got really great products. These are truly the products that I can't live without. They're the products that I use every day. They're the products yeah. that I use when I'm not filming. I think when you I use- I love that. Yes. The I love products that. products you use when you're not filming really say a lot about your like love for them. A hundred percent. When you're, the cameras are not rolling, it's like, what do you really put bring with you? Like yeah. what, what do you throw in your bag when you just need your essentials? Mm -hmm. Like. I feel like we've had a great, like very um, unique blend of products. Yes, I well, think so too. My last Your product. last one, I'm excited about this because I, I don't know what shade you have, but I can tell what it is. So I'm cheating a little bit, okay? I don't, don't get mad at me. I, it's two different shades, but 
overall, it's like the formula. Okay, so <laughs> I can't live without Chanel lipsticks. It sounds, it's probably like the most bougie thing I, you'll hear me say on YouTube is I, I can't live without <laughs> Chanel lipsticks. That is, that should be that a TikTok the... viral trend or viral audio. Right? <laughs> like, I cannot live without Chanel lipsticks. Literally, that's like, that is the bougiest thing you'll ever hear me say. <laughs> and these two shades, I have been using these probably for the last like, I'd say like eight years. Okay, like I don't own any Chanel lipsticks. Years. I've never, I don't think I've ever I will send Chanel you my lipsticks. favorites. Okay. Oh my God. Well, these, these shades are meant for you. Were these in your 30 days of lipstick series? Yep. Did? Okay. Yeah. So the first one is um, Adrian. So Adrian, and these are actually pulled directly from my makeup kit. So I'm not going to swatch them for sanitation purposes, but I'll, we'll pop them on the screen just for sanitation purposes. Cause these are not my personal ones. So I don't want to just go swatch them on my hand and stuff. But Adrian is like the perfect soft neutral pink. Oh, it's very see, similar to what you're you... okay i'll show you i'll show you, you know, this oh is that's pretty yeah it, it's deceivingly beautiful though like it looks very simple and like yeah. kind of like oh okay that's nothing that's special pretty. on mm. and it looks good on so adrian. many people mm -hmm. adrian is like it's been my secret for a long time and it's actually something i've gate kept in my kit for a long time and then <laughs> a couple of people caught on so they're like what color are you putting in? i was like adrian and then I've, before I know, like every single one of my clients has bought Adrian. I've given away so many Adrians in my life. I have bought so many Adrians in my life and Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle wow. is like a showstopper. I used to use this. I bought this when I was doing weddings mm -hmm. years ago, like when I was heavy on the wedding circuit or the wedding, right in the wedding train. Yeah. And this was my, always my go-to for the mother of the brides. Mademoiselle and usually like World Lip Liner mm, from MAC okay. was like the perfect they, yeah, the combo. combo. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, oh, yeah, like pretty. rosy mauve. Uh -huh. They're Looks just like, striking. Yeah, like just enough color, but not too much. Yeah, pairs mm -hmm. with anything, pairs with like a minimal eye, pairs with a really intense smoky eye. It's just enough color. But these are two lipsticks I, will never not keep in my pro kit, but I also have them for myself. Cause like, mm -hmm. you know, I have to like treat myself too. And I'll use these for like special occasions. Like if I'm going, if I'm going to a wedding and I'm like mm -hmm. attending, or if I'm going to like a special event and I want to like have a, a really great color on my lips, I'll usually be wearing one of these two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. These are just fantastic. The formula is very old school. I was gonna say, is it a similar, is it the same formula? Do they have different formulas in Chanel? They have different formulas. Yes. This is like the classic formula. I can't okay. remember this. Oh, it's just the Rouge Coco. So okay. Rouge Coco is like, this is the classic Chanel formula. Okay. I, I think it's the best formula because the color pigment is perfect. The finish is perfect. It's like a satin finish. It's not matte okay. and it's not overly Maybe. glossy. Okay. They're just phenomenal. I mean, they're just absolutely phenomenal. But these two shades, okay. if you try them, you have to leave me a comment and you have to let me know, A, what you pair them with lip liner wise and what you think. Because every time someone's purchased these, they're like, Adrian, oh my God, yeah, that is yes. I'm wearing it I today. love that. Those are the yeah. products that I love. I love when you love a product so much and then you recommend it and then people come back and they're like, yeah. oh my God, I love it too. I feel like I've sold so many Adrians yeah. and Mademoiselles in my life. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I've kept them afloat with that. But <laughs> so that wraps up this this list. That was so fun. I definitely have a I shopping know. list now. You do. I do. You do, but I do too. And I feel like you have such great products and it's just so fun to see like what other people can't live without Absolutely, you know because i know like yeah. what i can't live without and it's probably totally different from like what mm -hmm. other people can't live without comment below let us know what you guys can't live without yes please i love i mean some of the products that i can't live without i i heard about because viewers oh, really? left me yeah that's even better yeah it's like a give and take give mm -hmm. us the products that you can't live without we gave you ours this was so much fun so thank much you fun so much for oh my being gosh, on thank my you channel for me. This i is so absolutely i don't want to leave i know don't leave i'm just gonna keep <laughs> i'm gonna like just fly you into la and we'll just shoot content i think we should That's, give this video I a thumbs up for that i'll yeah i will back that we'll give lisa J a a thumbs up and thank you so much for coming to la and being on my channel i appreciate you so much show her some love um it's always great to have someone with me on my channel it's such a treat when I get to see you, but comment below, let us know how you like this video. Let us know your top 10 frogs you can't live without. Where can they find you? Uh, I'm at Lisa J Makeup on YouTube and Instagram. Nice. And TikTok. Nice. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.